It's week 14 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 94 Job 4 Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered, If one ventures a word with you, will you be offended? But who can keep from speaking? See, you have instructed many who have strengthened the weak hands. Your words have supported those who were stumbling, and you have made firm the feeble need. But now it has come to you, and you are impatient. It touches you, and you are dismayed. Is not your fear of God your confidence, and the integrity of your ways your hope? Think now, who that was innocent ever perished? Or where were the upright cut off? As I have seen those who plow iniquity and sow trouble reap the same. By the breath of God they perish, and by the blast of his anger they are consumed. The roar of the lion, the voice of the fierce lion, and the teeth of the young lions are broken. The strong lion perishes for lack of prey, and the whelps of the lioness are scattered. Now a word came stealing to me. My ear received the whisper of it. Amid thoughts from visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on the mortals, dread came upon me in trembling, which made all my bones shake. A spirit glided past my face. The hair of my flesh bristled. It stood still, but I could not discern its appearance. A form was before my eyes. There was silence. Then I heard a voice. Can mortals be righteous before God? Can human beings be pure before their maker? Even in his servants he puts no trust, and his angels he charges with error. How much more those who live in the houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, who are crushed like a moth. Between morning and evening they are destroyed. They perish forever without any regarding it. Their tent cord is plucked up within them, and they die devoid of wisdom. Proverbs 4 Listen, children, to a father's instruction, and be attentive that you may gain insight. For I give you good precepts. Do not forsake my teaching. When I was a son with my father, tender, and my mother's favorite, he taught me and said to me, Let your heart hold fast my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom. Get insight. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will keep you. Love her, and she will guard you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. And whatever else you get, get insight. Prize her highly, and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a fair garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Hear, my child, and accept my words that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on, for they cannot sleep unless they've done wrong. They're robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what they stumble over. My child, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Keep straight the path of your feet and all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left, 
Turn your foot away from evil. Ecclesiastes 4 Again I saw all the oppressions that are practiced under the sun. Look, the tears of the oppressed, with no one to comfort them. On the side of their oppressors there was power, with no one to comfort them. And I thought the dead, who have already died, more fortunate than the living, who are still alive. But better than both is the one who has not yet been, and has not seen the evil deeds that are done under the sun. Then I saw that all toil and all skill in work come from one person's envy of another. This also is vanity and a chasing after wind. Fools fold their hands and consume their own flesh. Better is a handful with quiet than two hands full with toil and a chasing after wind. Again, I saw vanity under the sun. The case of solitary individuals without sons or brothers, yet there is no end to all their toil and their eyes are never satisfied with riches. For whom am I toiling, they ask, and depriving myself of pleasure. This also is vanity and an unhappy business. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe to one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. Better is a poor but wise youth than an old but foolish king who will no longer take advice. One can indeed come out of prison to reign, even though born poor in the kingdom. I saw all the living who, moving about under the sun, follow that youth who replaced the king. There was no end to all those people whom he led, yet those who came later will not rejoice in him. Surely this is also vanity and a chasing after wind. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And click the bell. When that way you get notifications for the next one. And my See you tomorrow. Is worry Maranatha. I know without a doubt You'll carry me out of the storm I'm standing at the crossroads I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you, Lord It glorifies you when you're the only answer I praise you, Lord Holding what's too much for me And I'm amazed by you, Lord Because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet I want to thank you, Lord, for believing in me